Well, there are plenty of great places around the Treasure State, some well-known, some lesser-known. And in this week's Out and About, MTN's Brianna Juno takes you to a spot that uh, falls somewhere in the middle. Living in Montana is great because there are so many places to get out and about and explore without even having to leave your own town. In the summer, if you're traveling to Great Falls or you live here, there is a famous and accessible spot to explore and visit right in Great Falls' own backyard. That, of course, is Giant Springs. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot and looks like there's great picnicking and nice place to bring kids. For Mary Darling and her family on their annual ride from Missoula to Glasgow, stopping at Giant Springs State Park was a blast from the past since having not visited in 20 years. We stop at Fort Benton usually to get out and walk around, but we thought after watching a Lewis and Clark documentary, the old Ken Burns one, we kind of wanted to stop here. Did you know it takes the water over 50 years to travel from the Little Belt Mountains all the way over to Great Falls in this giant spring state park? And then it even has a chance to flow in the world's smallest river pictured right behind me. So it just goes to show that there is a lot you can do, a lot you can find in your own backyard that is worth adventuring and worth going out and about. And it's just a wonderful spot to be able to get ready access to be able to do that. So right up the road from Giant Springs is the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center for the history buffs who like to take a walk down one of Montana's historic journeys. Well, we almost every day during our peak season, we see visitors from Great Falls. They're like, why didn't I come here earlier? I've lived here five years, ten years. I've lived here since this place opened, and this is the first time I've come. And, uh, you know, they're always just so blown away by uh, what they can experience and what they can learn here. I think probably a lot of people don't know that or don't stop. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. In Great Falls, Brianna Juno, MTN News. A mama grizzly bear and her three cubs were spotted running through this field here in Ulm. I talked with the grizzly bear management specialist, Chad White, and he said despite their presence here recently, it is unlikely that they will return. Do you see that? They just oh, ran yes. through our yard. White said while searching for the grizzlies' tracks, they were not able to find any human food source that would be available to the bears, which should keep them from returning. The public is not in any danger at this time. Oh, that's a little scary in a way, but... Montana has the largest remaining grizzly bear population in the United States with around 2,000 bears. Grizzlies are starting to leave their established range, providing an increased chance to encounter them anywhere in Montana. Locals in Ulm said this was the first time any of them have heard of bears coming through this area. The public is encouraged to keep a close eye on the area and alert fish and wildlife if any grizzly activity is spotted. To be bear aware, you should always remain alert for potential encounters, carry bear spray, and keep all food in closed containers, vehicles, or your home. Four bears. Oh my goodness. In Ulm, I'm McKenna Holman, MTN News.